I think most people take bridges for granted. Uh, I mean, I used to as well when I was, before I was a bridge engineer. You just drive over them and often don't even notice them. I think there's a lot of behind the scenes that people don't fully understand how our business is complicated in, in all sizes of projects. So as engineers, the number one thing is hold paramount the safety of the public. And really, that's like, that's what my job is. <laughs> The structural engineering department at the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure is key to operating a safe and reliable highway network across British Columbia. The ministry is rich in bridge history with some of the world's most iconic bridges in our inventory, and our structural engineering team continues to build on that history while also meeting today's needs for innovative, sustainable, and quality structures. Structural engineering is responsible for more than 2,900 bridges and 2,800 other structures. Bridges range from simple log stringers on remote roadways to iconic cable-supported bridges in urban areas. Other structures include retaining walls, tunnels, snowsheds, large culverts, and sign structures. The work is varied and covers all phases of a structure's life cycle, including design of infrastructure and the management of contracted design work, asset management planning, construction supervision services, inspection of existing structures, highway expansion planning, policy and standards development, as well as specialized services for seismic engineering and instrumentation, structural health monitoring, hydrotechnical engineering, and ensuring that heavy and oversized loads can travel safely around the province. You can work, uh, you know, one day on, on a pedestrian bridge in New West, uh, a bridge on the island, it could be a culvert replacement project in the Kootenays, or it could be a washed out uh, bridge that needs emergency response in, in Dawson Creek. Uh, so all over the province, uh, all of the time, uh, it's a huge variety, geographically and in, in scope and size and, and type of structure. For our specific group, the hydrotechnical group, we're kind of one of the first steps. We uh, do the river analysis and determine how wide and tall the bridge needs to be. We'll do that field work and turn it into the modeling and, and the report that turns into the design. The most interesting is uh for me, going and taking a look at the rehab side of things, the old bridges that have been there now need to be replaced, and doing what's right in those locations. From initial steps to construction and eventually replacement, the structural engineering team has the opportunity to contribute their expertise during every step in the lifespan of the infrastructure under our care. Our team includes construction supervisors, engineers in training, technologists, inspectors, inspection truck operators, hydrotechnical engineers, and structural engineers, all working together to provide the most cost-effective design, construction, operation, and maintenance of bridges and other highway structures in the provincial network. Well, we keep people safe, essentially, at the Ministry by keeping the bridges um, in service, keeping them in good condition, uh, expanding when necessary. We keep the province moving and keep goods moving. Every project and every day is different, um, although they're not different at all. A bridge is a bridge, but what that bridge looks like, where it's going, who it's servicing is completely different. And that's what I really love about my job. I really enjoy being able to come out to a structure like this, see it two or three years down the road, there's so much diversity in the type of work that we do that uh, you can really take your career to anywhere. Want to learn more about the work that we do? Visit the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure online at tranbc.ca.